Let's talk about this. For more on it, we welcome San Jose State, uh, San Jose State University lecturer and cybersecurity expert Ahmad Banafa. Mr. Banafa, we appreciate you being here this morning. Uh, let me just start with this. Uh, Everyone downloaded threads almost right away. I mean, you see people on your own Instagram feed. They have it. You get curious about it. Why do you think so many people turn to it so quickly? Well, it is um, a reaction to the behavior of uh, Elon uh, Musk. And uh, the same week, which is, was the opportunity for Meta to release uh, threads, is, is the week where um, Elon Musk decided to limit our views of the tweets. That was too much for so many users. So I wonder, Twitter has been saying that Threads has taken a lot of these trade secrets, has taken a lot of these uh, ideas and whatnot. I mean, I've heard from experts that say, well, if we're following that logic, then there are several programs that should be sued. Do you think that Twitter has any standing in what they may be alleging? It's, it's very difficult, James, to prove something like this because the, actually the uh, – uh, suing because of the uh, trade secrets or somebody you hire somebody and that person shared that information is very difficult to uh, to prove because first of all you have to prove that it was a secret you have to prove that person gave it to you you have to prove that you knew that it's a secret trade secret and 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 uh, you use it knowing this one so the intention has to be proven it's going to be a really a tough fight for uh, for for Elon, uh, Elon Musk to do this but He's, he did that, he sent that letter for, for many reasons. Number one is to slow down the, the momentum of people signing up. At the same time, Meta look at it and say this is a sign of success, that he's worried. I think there's this idea, this school of thought, uh, that people already had their Facebook established, their Twitter established, their Instagram established, and I've got this new social media that I have to worry about, that I have to re-follow all these people, have to accept all these follows as well. Do you see threads lasting? Is this going to be the next kind of social media platform that should be on level, on par with Facebook and Instagram, or is there just a lot of hype right now because it's the new thing? Uh, it's still missing uh, important features that uh, hopefully they can uh, bring it to uh, to the uh, app. For example, uh, you know, I downloaded it on Wednesday. I was number ninety seven thousand three hundred and twelve. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's it's out of eighty million. So I was looking at the direct message; it's not there. I'm looking at the search; it's not there. Trend is not there. Hashtag is not there. And also the counter of the characters when you are typing is not there. So translation is not so. It was clear that they look at the opportunity of people upset that week, so they just release it and say, we're going to deal with this later, we're going to add all these features later. So as long as they add those features and there is no data breaches, then it's going to have its place you know, on our phones. There's nothing wrong with having two apps that will tell us breaking news. Uh, if one of them is down, we can look at the other one. You mentioned features. I've noticed on threads you can't really add any GIFs. You have to copy and paste the link. You can't even use it on a browser even. Uh, you know, do you expect that to be uh, updated in the next couple of months, or is that just kind of how threads is going to be? Well, uh, the, the the highest priority for them now is to deal with uh, a major problem, which is you cannot delete uh, threads uh, without deleting Instagram. You can deactivate it, but you cannot delete it. So they're trying to separate the two uh, because a lot of people complain about this. Number one. Number two, they're going to look at the uh, the feed itself because if you notice that if you go to the uh, the feed of your uh, uh, threads you're gonna see that it's coming for people you're not following it's just a mix it's uh, it's something called you know basically the algorithms deciding that they're trying to organize that so they're looking at that one by one as long as they're getting people there that's gonna help but the key thing to keep them you ha you can have a hundred million by the end of the weekend but how many of them actually will stick if we don't have the features. And, and real quick, Mr. Banafa, I mean, there's this idea that Mark Zuckerberg is getting too powerful in terms of social media. I mean, you got Facebook, you got Instagram, and now Threads is supposed to be this new Twitter kind of taking over that realm. Is there really any uh, basis for that? That well, argument, with, I mean? Uh, yeah, with the great power comes uh, great responsibility or accountability in this case. He's under the microscope now, and, and, and I'm sure that you heard about the EU that refused to, to let uh, uh, threads be uh, you know, downloaded uh, in, in that area. Why? Because of the privacy sectors. So he knows that he's, uh, he's under the microscope for privacy, data breaches, security. So he, you know, he's, he's careful about it. Now we can talk about this all day long. Mr. Ahmad Banafa, we appreciate you joining us this morning. Thank you for your thoughts and your insight. Thank you. All right, 8.50 this morning coming up.